A very good morning and welcome back to the show. Now, as we all know, load shedding is affecting us all, but you know, if you can't do anything about it, then have a laugh. That's at least the spirit that South Africans have on social media. And they've, they've been taking to, you know, Twitter, to Instagram, creating memes about load shedding. And we thought we might share some of those with you just to kind of lighten they, They're rather little, quite right? funny, actually. So the first one we're looking at is Brent Lindeke tweeted the latest range of uh, hashtag load shedding tools keeping South Africa at the forefront of cutting edge <laughs> technology development. So he's managed to convert a double adapter. <laughs> Check animal holder. Well done. Nice. Well done. Well done. Nice. <laughs> and then Vili Kluter tweeted a picture of Homer Simpson uh, working at one of our power plants with the text, okay. This explains a lot. <laughs> wow. We had uh, Jocelyn Cash tweeted a picture of himself at work with nothing to do and taking a nap. Uh, has to be saying, sleeping on the job, hashtag load shedding. Oh my goodness. And then uh, Parinda001 posted a picture uh, of a box of stationery <clears throat> as a backup uh, for using a computer. <laughs> saying, uh, with, taking, with load shedding taking place in South Africa, it feels like we're slowly moving backwards. Ouch. Yeah. This is, a, this is quite a, a cool one from Ian Camp. He tweeted a picture of him and Elana actually doing load shedding with a message, hashtag load shedding selfies are the new black. <laughs> <laughs> that is creepy. Very That's creepy, Elana. Yeah. And then uh, Leandri Janssen van Fieden tweeted a picture uh, with the caption too. Oh my goodness, that picture is horrific. <laughs> Saying, thanks, uh, we have to find new innovative ways of warming our coffee. <laughs> Look, I had a good laugh when I saw this picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good laugh. And then we also had Dimitri Yanakis uh, tweeted a picture um, of dinner by candlelight with a message, Hashtag load shedding has it advantages romantic dinner for two. That's 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 positive thinking. It's a I positive like thinking. Yeah. yeah. Well, well um, we have with us uh, the spokesperson for XCOM on the line, Andrew Etzinger, and he'll be telling us about uh, load shedding during this festive season coming up. Andrew, thank you very much for taking our call. Um, now, the experts, as I understand, are saying that our load shedding problem is going to carry on for some 18 months to come. It's like a, a year and a half. Can you tell us how severe it's going to be? How much of it can we be expecting, especially now over the festive period? Good morning, guys. The good news is certainly over the festive period, we should be okay. And the reason for that is uh, a lot of businesses are closing down, schools, etc., uh, are closed down. That leads to a lower electricity demand, which, of course, is what uh, load shedding was trying to uh, accomplish in any event. So, mm -hmm. you know, we are constrained, but with lower demand, probably no need to reduce demand any further than it will naturally be. So uh, at this stage, uh, I think we, we're safe and uh, the cartoonists can have a break as well. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And I mean, but, but like we've said, you know, um, some of the people on, on Twitter, you know, seem to be a very positive reaction as well. But from your side, what is the best way people can deal with the situation? And also, you know, the, the best way to keep abreast with the load shedding schedules itself? Right. Uh, the first is uh, what we'd advise, even during the good times, and it, we've, we've, despite Monday, uh, we've had a good week, and, and I think yeah. load shedding, unfortunately, is quickly forgotten about, but it's always in the background, unfortunately, because we, we have a constraint on the grid. So if you haven't already done so, download the schedule, the load shedding schedule from, from Eskom and from your municipality, but do it for all three stages, stage one, stage two, stage three. I think mm -hmm. sometimes we download stage one, and then we end up in stage three with a more severe problem, and then there's load shedding out side the, the time so get all three schedules from, and prepare for the worst have a look at stage three and mm. make sure that you're fine for that secondly get the telephone number of your supplier if it's Eskom or the municipality what sometimes happens is that power doesn't come back after a load shedding incident and give the your supplier a call it could be a technical fault it could be totally unrelated to, to the, the the load shedding which had happened so give the guys a call if, certainly from Eskom side we appreciate that we'll send out a technician to to have a go aside from that uh, the obvious things like charging your cell phone and getting that sort of readiness going uh, is important in, in advance. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, for the next 18 months, we could have a spot here and a spot there, hopefully not as bad as the month spell that we just come through. But the indications are that, you know, things have improved steadily through the week and we'll hopefully uh, be able to hold it there. Yeah. Andrew, thank you very much for your time and thank you for uh, hearing us out. And, of course, if you want to, if you want to find out more, go to loadshedding.escom.co.za. So, yeah, the next 18 months might be a bit dark, but hopefully after that we'll be out of the darkness. Yeah? Exactly. And also, good news, I mean, over the festive season, we should be okay. Like no, five, four, three, two, one, two. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at... We've got, we got some tips for you, right? So if you find yourself in the dark, uh, you know, we've we got some yeah. quick tips for you on what you can do to make sure that you are at least as prepared as possible. Firstly, you know, switch off. Exactly. As much as possible, let's try and save as much power as possible. Exactly. So if you're not using appliances, you're not using lights, switch them yeah. off. It just helps to release the strain on the on the 
Indeed. Uh, the Agreed. Grid. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. And also, I mean, uh, quick ones here. Ensure that your car is always full of fuel, all right? Yep. Because the, uh, the fuel station can't pump adequate cash in, the, in, your, in your wallet because the tellers won't be working. Mm -hmm. And uh, also make sure that you keep your fridge door closed. Exactly. Okay, yeah. to make sure, keep the cold inside. Exactly. Yeah. So that you, and also we try and have some snacks around the house that don't need refrigeration in case, let's say it goes on for too long, then you can uh, at least have food that, you know, won't go spoiled. Biggie cookies. And if you've got yeah. some tips to share with us, <laughs> <Biggie cookies. laughs> some tips to share with us, do so on our Express Morning Show SABC3 Facebook. Facebook page and yo keep the memes coming I'm loving them yo I'm I love it all right cool next <laughs> up though I mean oh it's Christmas time it's gift if you ask me you and what can I get you for Christmas you right? and what can I get you for Christmas anything tech okay anything tech anything okay. tech that's cool yeah so subsequently we are looking at some of the best tech gifts for the festive season